Mike Stern plays on one of your records, right? Yeah, well, with Stern, I, I, when I moved to New York, I actually called him for a lesson. And, um, and he was nice enough to go, like, yeah, come on over. You know, we'll do it. So I came over to his house, and we just started to play. And after that, he just kept calling me. He was like, yeah, come over and play. He always likes to practice. And we became kind of good friends. I used to go and practice with him all the time and play with him. So that was just hanging? Not yeah, hanging lesson. and playing like a blues for an hour and stuff like that, or change, the rhythm changes or whatever. And um, they used to play me all his records, and what do you think about this, what do you think about that? And really, actually, he really, really helped me with all my records a lot. Mm -hmm. Just as another ear. To, he's really, really, he's got so much, I guess, got so much experience with that. And he's got fresh ears because it's not his stuff, it's somebody else's stuff. Mm -hmm. He was always really, really great. And he's a good friend, you know. So. What's the type of stuff he would give you as feedback? Um, a lot of times when you're doing your own record, you're so into it, you're so in there. So you don't see the whole picture, you're just going to hear the little things. And when somebody like that listens to it from the, the uh, real perspective, you know, you can hear all the stuff that you don't hear. So. He was usually, what he always said was like, it sounds really great, you're just too focused on the little details, which usually he was right. Usually that's the case when you're making your own record, you're mm. working on it for so long mm. that you know you just kind of get sucked into this, all those little details and this little sound, this little thing here. You know? right. but, but, so he always helped a lot with that. And just in general, sometimes you get dark because there's no work or things are not going the way you want them to go. And he was uh, he's always really kind of, supportive and helpful mm. and then he played on, on my second album on high he played on on a track that was really great uh, but at the time we were already playing a lot together just so it was just kind of obvious that i'll call him to play <laughs>